How to divide 2 to 3 digit dividend by 1 digit divisor with remainder in the quotient? Do you still remember the acronym DMSCD? What do we mean by DMSCD? Good thing you still remember it. D is for divide, M multiply, S subtract, C for compare, and D for drop. Now let's try to solve this. Divide 89 divided by 4 equals N. Let's start with D. Divide the first digit 8 by the divisor 4. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Hint, if you skip count by 4, there are two counts and the number nearest 8 but not greater than 8 is 8. So our first partial quotient is 2. Next step is multiply. Multiply the partial quotient 2 by the divisor 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. Next is S. Subtract the product 8 from the first digit of the dividend 8. 8 minus 8 equals 0. Next is C. Compare the difference. It must be 0 or less than the divisor. So the difference is 0, so we can move on. Next is D for drop. Drop the next digit 9, then go back to the first step, D, which is divide. Divide the second digit 9 by 4. 9 divided by 4 equals 2. Hint, if you skip count by 4, there are two counts and the number nearest 9 but not greater than 9 is 8. Next step is M. Multiply the second partial quotient 2 by the divisor 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. S. Subtract the product 8 from the second digit dividend 9. 9 minus 8 equals 1. Let's go to C. Compare the difference. It must be 0 or less than the divisor. Here, 1 is the difference and 1 is less than the divisor. So because there are no more digits to divide, our final quotient is 22 with a remainder of 1. To check if the answer is correct, multiply the quotient 22 by the divisor 4 and add the remainder 1 to the product. If the sum of the product and the remainder is the same as the dividend, then your answer is correct. Let's go to our second example. Divide 227 by 3. First, divide the first two digits 22 by the divisor 3. If you notice, you have to take two digits here because you cannot divide the first digit 2 by 3 because 2 is less than 3. So you have to take 22. So 22 divided by 3 equals 7. Hint, if you skip count by 3, there are 7 counts and the number nearest 22 but not greater than 22 is 21. So first partial quotient is 7. Multiply the partial quotient 7 by the divisor 3. 7 times 3 equals 21. Next, subtract the product 21 from the first 2 digits 22 of the dividend. 22 minus 21 equals 1. Next step is C. Compare the difference. It must be 0 or less than the divisor. Here, the difference is 1 and 1 is less than the divisor. So we can move on to the next step. Next step is D. Drop the next digit 7. Then go back to the first step D, which is divide. Divide the combined digits 17 by 3. 17 divided by 3 equals 5. Hint, if you skip count by 3, there are 5 counts and the number nearest 17 but not greater than 17 is 15. Next, multiply the second partial quotient 5 by the divisor 3. 5 times 3 equals 15. Next step is S. Subtract the product 15 from 17. 17 minus 15 equals 2. And then compare the difference. It must be 0 or less than the divisor. Here, 2 is the difference and 2 is less than the divisor 3. So no more digits to divide. So final quotient with the remainder 75, remainder 2. To check if the answer is correct, 
multiply the quotient 75 by the divisor 3 and add the remainder 2 to the product. If the sum of the product and the remainder is the same as the dividend, then your answer is correct. Here the sum 227 tallies with the dividend 227. So the answer is correct. Now it's your turn. Try to divide 126 by 5. Use the acronym DMSCD. Check your answer using multiplication and addition. After solving, go to the next slide to check if your answer is correct. Did you get the same answer? Very good! Do you want another one? Try 98 divided by 6 equals n. Solve it first before going to the next slide. Is your answer the same as mine? I know you can do it. Lastly, try 339 divided by 4. Solve it first before going to the next slide. Is your answer the same as this? Wow, you have mastered the skill. Remember, to master any skill in math, you need to be diligent in practicing the skills. Be confident and believe that no skill is too difficult to learn. And it is just okay to commit mistakes. It is okay to experience the trial and error process, as long as you end up getting the correct answer in the end. There are many ways in solving any math problem. Feel free to use any method you like, as long as you end up with the correct answer. And lastly, remember the saying, practice makes perfect.